On this first alert weather day, we start with this live look at Kalapaki Bay on Kauai, where the water is brown with storm runoff. And this is what it looks like all around the Garn Isle tonight after the island got slammed with more than a foot of rain. Officials are still assessing how many, how much damage that is the storm caused, but it's enough that Governor Josh Green issued an emergency proclamation to help with the response. The county reported multiple flooding rescues and evacuations from vehicles and houses in Koloa and Wailua, but fortunately no major injuries. All public school classes were canceled island-wide today. Two shelters are open in Koloa and Kapa'a. Mayor Derek Kawakami is traveling on the mainland, so acting Mayor Reiko Matsuyama is leading the immediate recovery effort. Aerial video of the Wailua River Bridge shows the scene where a construction crane tipped over, damaging the highway. That section is undergoing a $55 million upgrade. The river went from 3 feet to nearly 23 feet last night, and the last check had receded to 13 feet. You can also see broken tree branches and debris piling up underneath. And these are images from a store in Koloa that flooded overnight. Merchandise completely soaked in that brown and muddy water. Our first alert weather team has been tracking the storm system all week long. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Robbins is here with Hawaii's most accurate forecast. And Jen, looks like Kauai could get more rain this weekend. Yes, we're adding another first alert weather day as early as Saturday night into Sunday morning. And this one is different because it's associated with the front. It's going to bring in moisture from west to east. Right now we're dealing with residual moisture and we are going to be seeing all of this moisture ahead of a front with those south winds bring up some pop up showers for the rest of us. And that's exactly what we're seeing on the radar. Finally, though, a break when it comes to the intensity of rain at its peak. We're talking about anywhere from one to three inches per hour, some spots up to four inches inches per hour over open water is about five inches per hour. So we are finally getting that break. But as we make our way down the island chain, we're still seeing some heavy pockets of rain over the coastal waters. We're seeing a special marine warning, and that's due to a cluster of intense storms that are coming through. But right now, really light rain over land. So we're not seeing anything major at this point. But you can see Kailua Kona. We're seeing on and off showers there over the mountains there. Hawaii Island seeing some snow into the night. So the scenario of this low pressure system it was tapped into deep tropical moisture. It continues to draw up some of that deep tropical moisture with that cold air and moist air mass. We are going to be seeing these ingredients bring in some individual thunderstorms tomorrow, but then you see severe thunderstorms occurred last night with winds about 58 miles per hour over the coastal waters, possibility of even quarter size hail and water spouts. Luckily that stayed over open waters, but it is going to be a quiet night for the most part, but some pockets of heavy rain coming in the picture, so about a 60% chance of showers. All right, thank you, Jen. Most of the 911 calls overnight came from Koloa and Wailua, but the impacts were felt island-wide. Mahia Alani Richardson joins us with the latest. Mahia? Kiahi, there were no mandatory evacuations, but county emergency officials told us first responders went door to door in those areas, urging people to evacuate. The rain bomb hit Kauai overnight. This video from Koloa, the south side of the island, shows the lightning, relentless rain, and rivers through garages. Kauai County leaders who are touring the flood zones told Hawaii News Now they saw 20 homes in Koloa and 15 homes in Wailua that were damaged. Businesses got smashed too, like the Kauai Lilikoi and Butterfly Farm, which is now closed because of overwhelming damage. In the east side town of Wailua, resident Josh McLaughlin says some of his neighbors were forced to evacuate. His house sits on stilts, so everything underneath, including cars, was lost. I've never seen anything like that before, and um, it was uh, pretty humbling in the sense that the, the, this is amazing how fast things can happen and how powerful water is. Nothing is going to get in its way. If it wants to go somewhere, it's going. Kauai Emergency Management Agency's administrator says flooding was widespread all over Kauai, but the most 911 calls came from Koloa and Wailua. Well, some were uh, calling 911 wanting to be evacuated. Um, you know, in some cases there was uh, water within their houses already. Uh, in one case, I heard a I heard the call because we do monitor radio, um, four feet of water in one household. First responders did go door to door. And, you know, some of those residents uh, wanted to 
shelter in place. A portion of the Wailua Bridge was damaged. The county says heavy equipment for a state DOT project toppled over between the two bridges, became entangled in wires, and hit the southbound bridge. We're all surprised that the crane was uh, even in the water uh, during that flood, but yeah, it looked like it just kind of half fell in the water and then the boom hit the side of the bridge. Um, and crack the railing. The county says the bridge serving southbound traffic is closed for safety reasons and the northbound bridge is open in both directions. Now tonight a freelance photojournalist who's driven in the flooded areas from Wailua to Koloa says almost all of the gas stations he's driven by are closed. Meanwhile, county officials say there are no reports of major injuries and they say official damage assessors will start going out tomorrow. I'm Mahalani Richardson, Hawaii News Now. Mahia, thank you. Stay with us for the latest weather headlines on air and online and ahead in this newscast.